Disneyland Paris is about to embark on a massive transformation of the iconic European resort. Disneyland Paris welcomed two new shows, a massive Frozen Land and the much-anticipated Lion King Land, all set to debut before the end of the decade. Is Disneyland Paris entering a new golden age? At D23, Disney revealed the exciting future of the resort. Josh D'Amaro announced a new show coming in 2025. Disney said, with its unique blend of projections, fountains and breathtaking lighting effects and an original soundtrack, the show promises to push the technical boundaries set for previous night shows, such as Disney Dreams, and Disney Illuminations, and immerse guests into their favorite stories like never before. Additionally, for the first time in the history of the nighttime spectaculars at Disneyland Paris, Main Street will serve as a backdrop for the show. This looks to be a stunning spectacular, with projections on Main Street, framing Le Chateau de la Belle Bois Dormant, and additionally the concept art depicts a wide collection of Disney movies on display, featuring classics like The Blue Fairy and new favorites like Bruno. Additionally, the concept art depicts drones. I'm personally excited to see this new fireworks display at the resort, hopefully it will be better than Disney Illuminations and live up to the legacy of Disney Dreams. This new show will premiere in January 2025. Walt Disney Studios Park is also embarking on a massive transformation that will reshape the entire park experience. This ambitious expansion is set to include not only the new Frozen and Lion King lands, but also a host of other exciting developments designed to elevate the park to new heights. As so, the park's original Studio One is currently closed to be completely reimagined into world premiere, featuring a new design language. The main dining venue will be Hollywood Gardens Restaurant, which is an indoor venue that is themed to an outdoor terrace. World Premiere is expected to reopen in spring 2025. In a statement, Disneyland Paris said this, After passing through the turnstiles, guests will be transported into a vibrant contemporary open-air movie studio, before becoming special guests of a glamorous film premiere in the heart of Hollywood on a starry night. At D23, Disney revealed this massive model showcasing the park's transformations. As previously announced, Walt Disney Studios Paris is expected to change its name to Disney Adventure World. Now, the park is more than a studio, it's the gateway to our own adventure. The new name will premiere in 2026. In the new model, we can see the reimagined World Premiere Plaza, expected to receive new landscaping and completely change the aesthetics of the park. We can also see the new Adventure Way. This promenade will feature a new Tangled Ride, named Rapon's Tangled Spin. Then we have the Waterfront, named Adventure Bay, featuring a massive restaurant named Rigoville Restaurant and Lounge. This venue will feature incredible views to the park's new nighttime spectacular. A massive new show will debut on the lake, Disney said. The banks along Adventure Bay and the Rigoville Restaurant and Lounge will be the perfect spot to admire the awe-inspiring combination of water screens, fountains, special effects, and never-before-seen drone choreography. We also expect to see brand new water drones that will bring iconic stories to life. This is going to be epic. At the other side of the lake, we see a brand new land. Welcome to World of Frozen. Here we enter the Kingdom of Arendelle, a magical realm where the Queen has magical snow powers. We as visitors can embark on a journey on Summer Snow Day. This land will be similar to the one in Hong Kong, featuring a similar boat ride. But this land is not a complete clone. For instance, the roller coaster will not be present in the Disneyland Paris version. However, the impressive Scandinavian-inspired architecture is very much appreciated, and with the North Mountain in the background, it creates a perfect focal point for the lake. Be prepared, as this experience, together with the new nighttime show, are expected to debut in 2026, which for many of us is a painful couple of months of anxiety and anticipation. And I do recommend already start a line for this experience. With this new expansion, the former Walt Disney Studios is set to be completely remodeled, doubling its footprint and welcoming new immersive experiences. But what comes after Frozen? While Disney unveiled brand new land coming to Disney Adventure World, welcome to the world of the classic animated Lion King movie. Welcome to Pride Lands. 
After 30 years of waiting, the Lion King is finally getting the land it deserves, but let's explore this new immersive land. At D23, we saw this new model, and by looking at it, we can have an idea of what this land might just look like. The whole land has a savanna aesthetic, with rolling grasslands, some scattered trees, wild animals and rocky outcrops, reminiscent of Pride Rock. As you explore, you encounter vibrant earthy tones that bring the savanna to life with carefully crafted details that evoke the vast cultural heritage of that region. As we enter the land, we can see this tree, that looks to be Rafiki's tree from the movies. We can also see some covered seating, this could be for a restaurant. As Disney said, we could experience shopping and dining and meet and greets opportunities in this new land. But of course, the highlight of this new expansion is a brand new Lion King log flume type ride. And this is going to be wild. Guess who enter beneath the rocks of, well, Pride Rock. And according to Disney, this ride will be a retelling of the classic Disney animated film. But that's not all. The ride will feature a massive drop that's sure to get you soaked. Which is a welcome addition, especially in the recent brutal summer hits. The show building for this ride is also massive. And I'm super excited to see how this ride is going to look like in the future. Additionally, at D23, Disney announced that construction for this new land is expected to commence next year. However, opening time frame was not announced. But Josh D'Amaro did state that all announcements at D23 are expected to open in the next 5 years or so. As so, in the worst case scenario, this land could open in 2029. The savanna aesthetic of the Lion King land will not only enhance the thematic diversity of this area, but also provide a refreshing contrast to the existing landscapes within Disneyland Paris. With the rugged, earthy tones of the savanna juxtaposed against the icy blues and whites of Frozen, the landscape of the park will feel more dynamic, giving visitors the sense of traveling to different worlds, adventure worlds, if you will. Similar to what happens in World Showcase at Epcot. This is a dream come true, as the Lion King deserved to be an e-ticket ride ever since it premiered 30 years ago. And even better, Disneyland Paris is getting an exclusive ride not found at any other Disney resort around the world. This will help the resort stand out and give international visitors a reason to stop by while visiting Paris. The Lion King has always been a box office success in the United States or in Europe, but more importantly, it has made a mark in the cultural landscape. The Lion King is a generational movie, one that you watch with your kids or grandkids. It's truly a Disney classic and one of my favorite animated movies of all time. And this new Lion King land, with its immersive savanna aesthetic and attention to detail, promised to capture the magic of the film in a way that only Disney can. The anticipation surrounding this project is outstanding, as it represents not just a new attraction, but a chance to relive the story of the cub that would be king. As Disneyland Paris embarks on this ambitious expansion with the addition of both The Lion King and Frozen, it's clear that the resort is about to enter a new golden age. These developments signal a renewed commitment to storytelling and innovation, ensuring that Disney Adventure World is up to par with the many Disney parks around the world, finally fixing what many called the worst Disney park ever. Walt Disney Studios Park was always the second option for guests that visited the charming resort. But now, with such incredible developments, Disney Adventure World might become the reason many families and fans visit the resort in the first place. With the power of Frozen in 2026 and the timeless storytelling of The Lion King later on, as so I expect Disneyland Paris Resort to enter a new golden age, putting the resort up to par with Walt Disney World and Disneyland and truly innovating like it did back in 1992. When Euro Disney opened, it set a new standard of what a theme park should be. It wasn't just a clone of Disneyland or Walt Disney World did its own thing. Look at Frontierland. Frontierland at Disneyland Paris is a true masterpiece, unlike any other around the world, with Big Thunder as the main focal point and centerpiece of the land, and the scary facade of Phantom Manor creates an immersive atmosphere. At the original Park Disneyland, every shop, every restaurant is filled with detail and storytelling. Take for instance Sir Mickey's Boutique. This themed shop 
features beautiful murals that tell a story. This commitment to immersive theming and attention to detail is what makes Disneyland Paris so special. Anywhere you go at Disneyland Paris, you will find incredible attention to detail. With this new Frozen Lion King lands, we can expect the same level of immersion and attention to detail coming to Disneyland Paris, but most importantly, to its second park, which always felt like a downgrade compared to the original park. However, these new experiences seem promising. With these upcoming additions, Disneyland Paris is set to usher in a new era of wonder and excitement, bringing back the golden age of 1992 and propelling the park into a future filled with magic, adventure and unforgettable experiences. Now, the only thing missing is a new attraction at the original park Disneyland. So here is to the next 5 years of this incredible resort, Disneyland Paris.